Welcome to the Anatomy of Rifloscope series. In this video, we're going to be discussing lenses. And this is going to be more of a general overview of what lenses are and some of the things you may not know about lenses. Later on, we will jump into specific lens groups like the objective lenses or the um, ocular lenses, and we'll talk about what their roles are. But for now, let's give a more general overview. A lens, put simply, is a piece of glass that bends light. Lenses have specific chemical compositions to give them specific properties. They are shaped a certain way so that they can refract or bend light at a very specific angle. And they are polished and chemically coated in order to allow them to transmit as much light as possible and reflect as little as possible. You may have heard the question thrown around, oh, what glass does that scope have? And we hate that question because it's a lot more complicated than just giving the name of a factory or a country of origin. Most people think that you can kind of predict the quality of an optical system based on what factory the scope is coming out of. Let's say Germany, Japan, China, Philippines, uh, USA, whatever. But it's really not that simple. And here's why. Firstly, an optical system starts out as a theoretical design. So you have an optical engineer that develops the optical system and then the lenses get made after that. And you can have a good engineer, you can have a bad engineer, you can have a well thought out design, you can have a poorly thought out design. You can also have a design that tries to meet a certain price point that might be really well made, but because it's a cheaper optical design that requires cheaper materials, it's just naturally not going to be as good as the more expensive design. So that's one component of it. You can be sourcing your lenses from the best factories in the world, but if your original optical design is bad, or if you specify the wrong glass types for your lenses, or if you just don't assemble those lenses properly, the product is not going to be good. Scopes are like food. You can have average ingredients and a good chef will be able to make something decent out of it, or you can have fantastic ingredients and completely ruin it by cooking something badly. You must remember that lenses don't work in isolation. It's a whole optical system and everything has to work together to create an image that looks good to your eye. The Titan that's sitting in front of me here has 17 lenses and every lens has a very specific job to perform. It's the optical engineer's job to determine what each of those lenses is going to do and to figure out what the end product is going to look like and to try to achieve that. So let's assume you have a good optical design. Now you need lenses to be made for that optical system. And this starts with ordering glass blanks. Now glass blanks can come from many facilities all over the world. They have to have a specific chemical makeup that the optical engineer specifies. They've got to be a sp specific shape and they've got to be a specific diameter. Quality does matter here because you need consistency from your glass supplier. If you order a specific glass type, you want it to be what you ordered every single time. But that's not where it ends. The glass blank still needs to be polished and coated. And very often this happens in a totally different facility, often in a different country entirely. Lenses are polished by machines that create very specific concave or convex shapes on the lens surface using an abrasive liquid and these shapes have to be very precise otherwise the refractive index of the lens will be affected and it won't bend the light at the angle it should. They also have to be perfectly concentric and perfectly round and they can go through various other processes too like having the outer edges buffed to a matte finish and blackened to prevent stray light reflecting off of them. After this the lenses have to be thoroughly cleaned and then coated. The coating is a process whereby um, layers of a chemical compound are applied to the lens surface to increase the light transmission properties and make the image brighter on the other side. Some coatings also prevent oil or dirt from sticking or prevent your lenses from fogging up. Our optical systems are all fully multi-coated, which basically means that every lens in the optical system has received its full complement of uh, lens coatings. Some very affordable scopes will just say multi-coated and that may mean that one or two lenses in the optical system have been fully coated. However, fully multi-coated 
should be the standard that you aim for if you really care about light transmission optical performance that means they've all been done every optical system can be analyzed for light transmission on a graph like this with the wavelength of light in nanometers at the bottom typically the human eye can see between 380 and 700 nanometers the light that we really care about is the light within the visible light spectrum and that's why broad uh, light transmission specs can be deceiving one scope may have a better light transmission but because of the color hue or because of the uh, wavelengths of light that you're seeing it may perform worse in low light conditions or in certain uh, times of the day so now you see why the question of what glass does it have is not that straightforward you may have a japanese lens polishing facility that sources its glass blanks from china or you may have a Chinese polishing facility that sources its blanks from Germany and then polishes them on Korean machines. It's not that straightforward. The most important thing is that you have an optical engineer who really knows what he's doing, who can specify the right lenses, put the money into the lenses that are more important and source those from the right facilities, and then make sure that everything is assembled properly and that the right quality control checks are put in place. In the next video, we'll start to look at how one of these lens groups, the objective, actually works and how multiple lenses can work together to achieve the goal of focusing different wavelengths of light effectively. If you want to learn more, please consider subscribing and you can check out our product line at element-optics.com. Thanks for watching.